Hey, this is Zorro. Thanks for watching the show. This has been a real pleasure seeing this thing come together. The whole focus and the whole point of this uh, online thing is for you guys to get indoctrinated into some of the greatest grooves of R&B. I'm proud to say the title of it is We Want the Funk. And the funk means all things R&B. Funk isn't just the period of the 70s. Funk w was used by Earl Palmer to describe the music, uh, the R&B music of the 50s. So when I say we want the funk, it's from all of R&B from the 40s to now. That's funk is always going to be everything R&B. Well, the poster is totally exciting for me because the poster is like another vision of a dream to let people know about all these grooves in sort of a timeline fashion where they could see some of the most important grooves from the 40s throughout the 70s, the real strong period of, of live R&B drumming. It's awesome that Vic Firth uh, uh, and the corporation wanted to put out this poster because this is going to help a lot of people who maybe aren't aware of who these drummers are to go and research. Then they'll go on iTunes and go, I want to check out that song. And they'll check it out and they go, man, now I know why he has this poster. These grooves are great. And so it's going to be a real uh, uh, educational thing, but fun at the same time. Drum teachers can use it to say, hey, let's learn all these 24 grooves. Uh, some of them are, are simple on paper, but much more complicated to play in reality. But they're all great, and they all have a, a special purpose on the poster. It, it's, it's worth it to study all kinds of different kinds of grooves, realizing that they're all just sort of cousins of one another. And that's why history is so important, because you, you can only understand the grooves of today if you understand the grooves of yesterday, because then you understand how they got here. And then they all make sense. So I encourage people to study all kinds of different grooves from all kinds of different eras and all kinds of different styles. It's all the one vast language of music. And the drummer's job is to understand groove and time and feel. One of the greatest things you can do as a teacher is to expose your students to music. And I've been teaching for years and years and years. And I've had great success with my students right from the beginning. Even people who are just starting out, I immediately teach them a groove to play, a groove that's simple enough that they can play. And maybe they're not playing it perfect, but they're playing it and they go, wow, this is exciting. There's a reason everybody wants to take drum lessons is because they like music. So if you, if you pick different grooves off the poster and say, hey, let's learn this groove this week. Let's just listen to it and let's learn the mechanics. I find that if you teach them grooves and beats, then that, uh, that solidifies the reason why they have to learn other things. Because as soon as they realize that they can't do this five-stroke roll, now, now you introduce the five-stroke roll. The music's always the teacher because there's always things in the song that inspire you or that you can't do and that leads the lesson. Now that's why we're working on our hi-hat. That's why we're working on our ghost notes. And I don't care what style of music you play, there's, there's grooves on this poster that you can play as a beginner, and there's grooves on this poster that even if you're a professional, it's still going to take a minute to work out. You know, check out what, you know, the James Gadsden groove or the David Garibaldi groove. I don't care how long you've been playing, these are still intricate grooves that, that you have to take the time to work out the mechanics of them to make them feel good. So there's really something on the poster for everyone at every level. And uh, those are grooves I still enjoy going back and relearning and playing. I had to relearn some of them for this video. <laughs>
Give it all you got, heart, soul, might, strength. Get into the groove. We're going to have fun on this adventure in this, uh, this teaching series. There's grooves that you're going to be able to play right off the bat and other grooves you're going to have to earn. But they're all great, so enjoy this adventure. The, the bottom line is to have a good time. If you're not having a good time on the drums, nobody who's listening to you is going to have a good time. So I got this motto. I have a good time with or without the audience because wherever I go, there I am. <laughs> So it's just me. So if I have a good time, then people are going to be feeling what I'm feeling out in the audience. And many of you play in all kinds of situations. People aren't going to have fun if you're not having fun. R&B music, soul music, funky music is about soul and it's about having a good time. And all the recordings that I love are drummers doing that, having a great time. So let's have a good time and get this uh, show on the road.